This picture released by Ohio police of a couple allegedly passed out on heroin with a child in the back seat has gone viral, putting a human face on what the data already tells us illegal drug use in America is at epidemic proportions. According to new data by Quest Diagnostics, the share of U.S. workers testing positive for illicit drug use has reached the highest level in a decade, driven by increases in detection of amphetamines, cocaine, and heroin. The federal government estimates by year 2020, mental and substance abuse disorders will surpass all physical disease as the major cause of disability, costing the U.S. economy more than $600 billion dollars. And we're joined now by Dr. Roger, Roger Crystal, CEO of Opiant Pharmaceuticals and the inventor of Narcan nasal spray to discuss the forefront of treating addiction. Welcome, Dr. Crystal. Great Thank to you. have you here. That picture of that Ohio couple is so harrowing. What, what did you think when you saw that in terms of your work? Absolutely. I mean, that really depicts the real problem we have here in the United States. It's, it's a, an epidemic. And it's not just people who were... Uh, always heroin addicts, we see this as a disease uh, of, of people that, such as soccer mums. Right. And so for us as a company, it just really felt the right thing that we had to do something about it. We had some inherent expertise in this class of drug called opioid antagonists, of which naloxone is one of them. So whilst we as a company had started some work in binge eating disorder using nasal naloxone, um, back in 2012, we decided it was the right thing to develop a naloxone nasal spray to reverse opioid overdose. And how is your product different from some of the other similar products that are out there? So we have the only FDA approved naloxone nasal spray. Uh, naloxone's been around for decades and the only other approved forms are available as injectables, whether it's a syringe-based injection or an auto-injector. So the use of needles in a population that's got inherently quite a high risk of uh, hepatitis or HIV and also people generally don't like injecting other people. It was uh, upon us really to start thinking of how we can develop nasal spray technology. And how does it work exactly? Can you tell us that the drug is administered through the nose? What is the chemical reaction that then takes place? Absolutely. So in the brain we have the breathing center and we naturally have that drive to breathe without us thinking about it. Opioid receptors throughout the brain, and in particular in the breathing center, if they're blocked, um, then that drive to breathe can be shut down. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sorry, not if they're blocked, if, they're, if, they are, if they're attacked by opioids right. in particular. Mm -hmm. So heroin, opioid painkillers, fentanyl, all act on opioid receptors in the brain. So by us developing this drug, or using this drug called an opioid antagonist, we block the effect of opioids. So the patient who's stopping breathing can then spontaneously start to breathe again. And when you say opioids, this is heroin and fentanyl, which killed Prince, absolutely. correct? So, absolutely, absolutely. So, so tell us about the, the price of this, because I know some Narcon products in the past, as demand increases, the price has gone up. Uh, how do you balance, as a company, your need to create products that are helping people, but also to, you know, appease your shareholders? How do you make that's, that balance? It's a very fair question, and I suppose coming, being a physician, coming from the United Kingdom originally, we're all too wary of, of pricing, and the, the whole perspective I take is value-based pricing, and what we feel as a company, in fact, it's our partner, Adapt, who are actually marketing and selling the product for us, but nevertheless, when we think about pricing, we've invested millions of dollars um, over two to three years to actually develop this product. And you're continuing to do research Absolutely. on we're new products. Absolutely, we're continuing to, yes. uh, um, to, to um, develop opioid antagonists nasally for a whole range of conditions. Right. And when I think about um, pricing, it is very different perhaps to the what's being sure, discussed about sure. the EpiPen, for example. Well, of course, there's, there's of no course. What is the, the price per dose right now for the nasal? It varies from, well, per dose, it's anything from $37.50 mm -hmm. um, through to about $60, $65 or so. Okay. so All right. Which seems reasonable. Let's talk about now the mm -hmm. research that you're doing, because I know you are on the forefront of also looking into a heroin vaccine and a vaccine for eating disorders. Can you tell us how these drugs or these vaccines would work? Absolutely. So just to be clear, the heroin vaccine is a vaccine-based approach for right. eating disorders, and this is where it's exciting for us, 
is that we feel we can use these same types of drugs, opioid antagonists, and deploy them for eating disorders. Again, recognizing there's a reward system in the brain that is uh, mediated by the release of opioids. So if we can block that reward system um, using opioid antagonists, especially delivered nasally, we think that's a very compelling approach. Absolutely. And would a heroin vaccine then blunt the effects of heroin on an addict? W quite. I mean, a heroin vaccine, we, we are looking to bring on this technology very soon. It's very exciting. It's very early stage, having said that. And the heroin vaccine is really uh, it works, simply put, by destroying the heroin in the blood before it gets to the brain. Mm -hmm. If it right. works, and we shall see. All right. Well, Dr. Roger Crystal, thank you so much for coming to talk to us today. Thank you for having me.